So today's the, uh, this morning's event is about um, children with the, who have had a broken heart surgery or had problems um, from the start of birth. Um, the foundations are all uh, this morning. We've got six stations running, um, various different stations. So we've got dance stations, rugby stations, football stations. Um, it's just kind of given little exercises that they can not only do this morning but can take away at home and keep them active. Our families are children who have had open heart surgery or other kind of heart surgeries and it's very important for them to keep as well as possible and keep exercising um, and when they've had heart problems they fear exercise even though they can do it but it's very good for them. So we thought if the rhinos were encouraging them to exercise and, and showing the families ways that they could exercise at home that were quite simple but quite fun, um, they'd come somewhere like this, which is a, a wonderful venue. They can meet some of the lovely players. Um, it's a lovely day out for them in the summer. Um, and some of the families, you know, it, for a free day out in the summer, it's a really nice thing to do for them because they've got lots of expenses as well. Um, and it's a great way for the children to learn exercise, meet some lovely rhinos players um, and have a good day out. I think it will benefit them a lot in certain ways. Um, luckily we've had Zane Tetabano, Leeds Rhinos first team player here this morning. He not long ago went through the same situation and look where he is now, he's fully recovered and hopefully back playing in a couple of weeks time. And, it just shows to these kids that if you have a surgery or anything, it's not, it's not the end of the world. You can get back, back on your feet. Um, like I say, we're running these stations just to try and keep them active. And now they can take this away, they can do it at home, a little fun game just to keep them nice and active. It's crucial because the Rhinos players are well known. We've got lovely Zane Tetivano here who had his own heart problems and came to the ward and visited the families and it made the world a difference to them. Some of the families were having a really bad day. Um, he's here representing the club. He's here to show them what you can achieve even with a heart condition. And it's so important for them to come to community venues like, like this when you open it up to the community as you have done um, and see that anything is possible even with a heart condition. Um, and know that you guys are there supporting the community as great as well, well as you do. So thank you. Look, um, obviously I've been to the hospital and there and obviously seeing kids that are quite poorly and um, it's... Um, yeah, it's been tough, like just seeing, you know, what families they have to go through, and uh, but you know, obviously the children have, have, have fun, uh, you know, obviously look after their parents and stuff. So, look, it's about um, give, like giving them some, you know, self hope, like, you know, some bit of hope that you know things are going to be okay when they get a little bit older, and um, you know, and it's just sad to see kids, you know, just bedridden uh, for a bit there and going through a little bit of a tough period. So, um, you know, I couldn't imagine what it's, you know, what parents that are going through. So, every little thing that you know, obviously being here today supporting them and helping out as much as I can. Um, hopefully it can make a little difference just to keep the smiles on their face. So when Oscar was born in 2014, it was unexpected and uh, he was taken away from us quite early on uh, within a few minutes of holding him. Um, we were told that he had a problem with his heart. So Dr. Hares at the LGI did an emergency operation, emergency septostomy, just to make sure that his heart chambers were mixing oxygen and blood. And a couple of hours later, we were told that he had a condition called transposition of great arteries, which we'll need operating on about nine or ten days old. Because, for, for one thing, the children who've had open heart surgery have scars, and it's really important for them to seek to meet other children with scars and learn that it's, you know, it's a, it's a badge of honour because they have they've survived something that was very difficult in their lives um, but they you know they can get taunted at school and things and it's it's difficult for them so it's lovely for them to meet other families who've gone through the same experiences other kids who've gone through the same things and mix with them and have fun and know that they're not alone in, in what they've gone through yeah it's great it's good to get to see people again uh, we've met a lot of people through the charity we've met a lot of people in our local village so days like this it just gives us a chance to meet up it gives us a chance to have a laugh and it also gives a chance for the kids just to show that they can do things and they can enjoy um, activities like this even though they have got heart conditions it's just stuff to keep them going keep them energized and it's great for families to connect I think without the awareness people so they don't realise what really goes on behind closed doors and having seen it as a parent you really understand the work and effort that the hospital puts into looking after the children with heart conditions so having that funding for the CHSF that they can provide to the hospital just means they can provide better care, better equipment uh, our lads probably need 
maybe some form of surgery in the future and we just know that that research and the money that goes into it to make things easier.